What is the difference between mezcal and tequila? That's the subject we're going to be covering today. But before we get into the differences, let's address the similarities. Because the two are confused quite a lot and the reason for that is the similarities. So we should address that, right? Both of them, mezcal and tequila, have to be made in Mexico. Both of them utilize the maguey plant, that is the agave plant. And both of them are between 35% and 55%, which is where the similarities kind of end, you know? But it's also why people get confused between the two. So moving on to the actual differences, quick fire questions. Is mezcal just a smoky tequila? No, no it's not. Yes, it's true that with them both being made out of agave, even though they're made with different agave, there's gonna be similarities in the flavor, except mezcal is known for its smokiness, it's known for its intensiness. In the whiskey world, mezcal is scotch and tequila is bourbon. So I can see why people will think it's just a smoky tequila. And it's a great way of describing the flavor. It tastes like a smoky tequila, but just because it's a great way to describe the flavor doesn't necessarily mean that's what it is. Just because you say something tastes like strawberry, don't mean it's a strawberry. I might have a sip of wine and say, oh, this tastes quite crisp, it tastes apple-y. Don't mean I'm drinking apple juice. You know what I mean? Do they both have the worm in? Now, if you don't know about the worm, this is a subject that I have covered already. I'll post about up here or up there, wherever it is. I always get the two confused. Maybe you're coming here from that video. I got it confused then as well. Um, no, no, the adult, the worm is the larva of a caterpillar, well, no, it's a caterpillar, which is the larva of a moth. It's the Gustina de Maguel, it lives on the maguey plant, and it is used in mezcal, not tequila. Is mezcal a type of tequila? No, it's not. I can see why you would think this. Tequila is massively popular. So when mezcal is starting to make a name for itself, people automatically think, let's liken it to tequila, it must be a type of tequila. In matter of fact, it's the other way around. Mezcal predates tequila, and tequila is a type of mezcal. Basically, all tequila is mezcal, but not all mezcal is tequila, right? Just like how all jacuzzis are hot tubs, but not all hot tubs are jacuzzis. Same thing. Is mezcal stronger than tequila? Generally speaking, yes. But in reality, no, they both have the same regulations and depending on what country you get it from, the regulations of that country dictate where it should be ABV wise. Both of them fall between the range of 35% to 55%. But generally speaking, especially in the UK, you get ones that are gonna peter on that 41%, 45%, whereas tequila's round here are kind of stuck within the 40% range. So generally speaking, yes, but that's not entirely true. Now we've got the quick five questions out of the way, it's time to address the big differences. The first being agave. Now agave is a type of plant, it is a succulent, you will have seen this before, it kind of looks like a pineapple. A lot of people think it's a cactus, it's not a cactus, it's actually more closely related to the asparagus. So there's a little fact for you. But both tequila and mezcal use agave. However, there are over 250 variations of agave through small household ones to 10 foot ones. Ones that take five years to mature and ones that take 30 years to mature. The flavor differences in those and using different ones for the base is gonna be completely different in the end. With tequila, you're only allowed to use one type of agave to name it tequila. That is the Blue Weber agave. Blue Weber takes between seven and 10 years to mature. It's normally a sweeter agave. It's quite large and it is what the flavor of tequila is, is Blue Weber agave. Mezcal has the choice of using up to 30 different types of agave, which include the likes of the most popular being Aspedin agave, as well as a bunch of others that I cannot pronounce and I'm not gonna try. But mezcal uses a lot of agave. Okay, so how does this affect the flavor? With tequila, using the same type of agave, it ensures consistency throughout. There is kind of a stamp of quality on tequila, unless mixer when you're using 50, but that's a whole new thing. 
basically you're going to have consistency you're going to know from producer to producer brand and brand what your tequila is going to taste like or at least what it should taste like whereas mezcal you've got a bunch of different ones so you can really taste the versatility you know one agave might taste really floral and herby another one might be really rich might be really spicy tequila consistency mezcal versatility the next big difference is where it's made. They both have regulations to where they have to be made in order to be named, either mezcal or tequila. Tequila has to be made in one of five states. This is 90% of which takes place in Jalisco and the other four states neighbor Jalisco. Whereas mezcal can be made from eight different states, which are vast, kind of cover a whole large portion of Mexico but most of which 85% of mezcal production does happen in Oaxaca, which is in the south of Mexico. Now, how this affects the flavor is with a plant that's gonna take between five and 30 years to mature, the climate has a big impact on what that end product is gonna be like. Then we get onto production methods, which change. Tequila goes a lot more commercial, conveyor belts, big steam ovens. Once you've got the agave, you got to cook the agave in order to transfer starches to sugars. In the case of tequila, this is done over the space of two days in huge steam ovens. In the case of mezcal, this is done with underground pits. Dig a hole underground, load of coal, load of fire, put the agave and cover it up. Completely different outcome. For tequila, you get a cleaner, more purer tasting spirit. With mezcal, it's what gives it that smokiness, that intense smokiness is because the agave has been smoked underground with that smoke trap nowhere to go for about 10 days hence big smoky flavor whereas tequila more neutral flavor i'm gonna say and finally why is mezcal more expensive than tequila once again it comes down to the way it's made it comes down to mezcal being more traditional in production methods and tequila being more commercial Tequila can do this, tequila producers do this on a huge scale with huge distilleries. Mezcal is normally from these small little villages, these little family run, family owned distilleries that are even non-English speaking or they don't have any connections. So anytime you get a Mezcal, it's always going to be small batch. It's always going to be more expensive. But is it worth it? Yes, it is. I'll happily pay the price for a good quality Mezcal rather than pay the price for a cheaper tequila. That being said, I also love expensive tequila, so... But there we go, there is the differences between mezcal and tequila. If you're still here and you've stayed throughout the whole video, well, well done. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out some more videos.